This is the Flywing 200 and it is a GPS helicopter. It's got three flight modes. It's got um, normal, which is GPS, and it'll hover, sit there and hover in the wind. Um, it has smart acrobatic mode, whereas you can take it up a few meters and um, flip, the, flip the sticks and it'll invert itself and maintain um, flight. And um, then it has full manual mode. Um, I haven't tried full manual mode on this thing yet because I'm just learning. Um, this, I would say this helicopter is really good for learning orientation. Um, in the long run, it could hurt you a little bit switching to um, a more um, full, full, full master mode um, because suddenly it's not helping you anymore. Although it's it's a very stable helicopter, um, it, it's a lot of people would think of this as cheating because you're not learning the quick responses to maintain a helicopter flight. It's doing a lot of work for you, but this would also be perfect for anybody who just really has a hard time flying helicopters, but just wants to fly a helicopter because this is really easy to fly. In GPS mode or smart aqua mode, it's uh, uh, very smooth, very quiet. Um, I put it around my house sometimes with it. Um, it takes a 853 cell battery. Um, you can all, you go go up to 1500 three cell. I ordered a couple of those. They're, they're actually on um, I think the Banggood website for specifically for this helicopter. So I ordered a couple of those and it'll go, it'll probably fly for about, you know, 15 minutes on that, unless you're doing full 3D. Um, it has a direct drive motor, another motor back here. Um, this is a little whiny, just like some of the blade helicopters. Um, you really have to have a belt drive or something like that with the blades um, shifting back and forth for it to not be whiny because you'll hear a little whine from this back motor but it's not too bad on this heli. It's got indicator right here. Um, green flashing means it's in optical mode so you could fly this indoors and it has a laser and a camera that shoots down to the ground to maintain where it's at. Um, you, you could fly it around indoors, but you know, you're you're taking a big risk doing that, like hitting something. But it is capable. It's very smooth and very stable. It's got a little nut right there that, um, if you should crash, that nut will break, and it'll save all the components up above um, from breaking. I've seen that on some videos. It's so easy to fly. I haven't crashed it yet. Um, yeah, uh, this thing is wonderful when it's windy. It will just sit there in the wind and you barely have to um, fly it. Um, so it doesn't like run off and blow into the trees. Um, like my 230S, you have to constantly be on the controls on the 230S. But that, that's more a better, that's a better learning helicopter once you get past the orientation stuff. So one thing I guess good about this helicopter is you could skip some of the simulator time and get the orientation down because um, all you have to do is let go of the sticks on this thing and it'll fly solid, stay where, that, where it's at in GPS mode. Uh, it'll fly for about seven to eight minutes on the 850 battery that came with it. Um, on the 1500 battery, some people are saying they're getting like 14-15 um, minutes of puttering around time. Um, if you put it into the full manual mode, of course it's going to up the head speed and it's going to draw more power. So full acrobatic mode, it's it's going to uh, draw power quicker. Um, alarm goes off back here and, and blinks red when the battery's low. And it starts out with a beep, 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 beep. 
and then once it goes to beep, 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 you better land it quick. Um, it also has uh, um, return to home. So you flip the return to home switch and it'll return to almost where it was. Um, it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Um, once the power gets low, it'll also automatically go into return to home. There's a real helicopter, by the way. I think that's a police helicopter. But yeah, um, it'll return to home. It also switch automatically into return to home if the battery gets low. And you can flip um, the switch. You can toggle the switch back and forth between return to home and normal and you can get control back and land it yourself if you want. So um, yeah, I'll get this going and um, show you how easy it is to fly. If, if you have a real hard time learning helis, this is, this is for you. Plug this up. It's going to go through an initialization. I've seen a lot of videos. It must be an older model because it like flips around. But this one doesn't do that. So got to be real careful that you get this bottom thing in this little lip because you don't want this thing hitting the motor. So it can take a little while for uh, the GPS to kick in. That blinking means it's looking for satellites. At home, at my house, it can take five to ten minutes. Here it's been going a little bit quicker, but it still takes a little while. Hopefully they're going to tweak that. So just wait until it locks. Okay. The GPS is locked took about two minutes here at home it takes five to ten minutes it's, it's, it's a pain so I'm gonna flip it to start give it a little bit of up and it goes up and it'll virtually Sit there. See, it's got a sensor under here. So you, you could fly it indoors. It's got a laser that shoots at the ground and a camera. And unless you're on a really untextured smooth surface, it'll detect where it's at and try to stay there. It's not, ter not terribly fast in, uh, in the GPS mode. And you know, you don't want it really fast when you're learning orientation. It's quiet, quiet, stable, easy to control, easy to fly. And if I take it up, 
I can flip it. And it'll fly upside down. By itself. You have to realize the controls are reversed. So this would be a great way to learn orientation. Flying upside down. You have to remember that down is up and up is very expensive. Now the app is automatically set to um, expert mode. So that the controls are reversed, but you can change it in the app so that the controls are not reversed. So I'll take it back up and uh, flip it back. Sorry, it's in the sun. Let me do it over here. It'll do a roll as well. And uh, it won't let you do that if you're too close to the ground. Spin it around. So if you have a hard time learning helicopters and you want to fly upside down, you can do it on this one. I've been uh, mostly puttering around my yard in this one because uh, it's very stable and I have a lot of trees. Um, I'm trying to learn, really learn on my 230S. My 230S takes constant input to keep it from going off into nowhere. This one, you can stop it, let go of the sticks, and it just stays there. This is what you'd call cheating. But hey, if you're an older guy and you can't, or even a younger guy and just can't do it, you can fly a helicopter and it's really hard to crash. I mean, you'd have to almost do it on purpose or flip the wrong switch. Got a fly that's trying to eat me. 
That thing bites. So it's like, ow, this fly eat me. Just let go of the sticks. It stays there. I'm going to, what you can do is you can get a uh, DSMX satellite. And then you can uh, use your uh, spectrum radio. Um, it also has an S bus port, so you could use one of the other types of radios, Futaba. So I have a satellite, and I'm going to eventually hook it to my uh, NX10. Um, comes, well, it doesn't come with, you have to download an iPhone or Android app and you can tweak the head speed in the three modes. Uh, I think it's 50% head speed in normal mode. I think it's 60 something in the acro mode, which I have it in, smart acro mode. And then for full manual mode, it's higher. And there is, the button tell me the battery's low, or the beeper. You can see it's flashing red. And if you don't land it, it'll kick into return to home mode. I'm thinking this will be pretty stable in full manual mode too, but um, I'm still learning on 230S and I just don't want to crash this yet. I might have my friend Mike um, fly it for me in full manual mode because he's, he's really good. Or my friend Matt. Just so they can tell me how it is. Just when you get something new, you don't want to break it right away. It's got a nice little Velcro thingy. Slide your battery in and out so that when you put it in, it doesn't hit the motor. You don't want to rub it on that motor. So that's the fly wing. Two hundred. Nice little helicopter. So please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, helps me out. Helps out the channel someday. I hope. Uh, you know, get something out of it. But mostly for now, it's just pretty much a blog of my flights and learning things and uh, heli helicopters is the newest, latest thing. And uh, I'm gonna get back into my jets too. Um, this year I'm, I plan to fly a lot more of my jets. So I'll see you later.